Hey folks. So I had a couple come into the store and uh, they had some stuff for sale. They're moving so they were doing a clean out and this is what I bought from them. Uh, this little pile here cost me $65 or $62 something like that or $67. Uh, maybe paid a little too much but whatever. Um, anyway I'll show you what I bought. Uh, this is a trivet for an iron, for a sad iron. Um, my understanding is they were given away with Model T's. Um, I haven't confirmed that myself, but uh, that's what I'm told, or Diamond T's. Diamond T trucks, perhaps. Um, haven't confirmed that. If anybody has any proof or evidence or an ad or something, that you can uh, prove that to me. I'd really appreciate it. Let me know. Um, then a sad iron handle. They had the whole iron, but I bought the handle because it was broken. Well, not because it was broken, because I wanted the wood part, the wood handle part, because a lot of times that's the part that's broken. So I just bought it for parts, a couple bucks there. A uh, little Prudential Insurance. Uh, Thimble, yeah, <laughs> had a brain fart there for a second. Uh, and a Tonka dune buggy, 70s dune buggy, probably early 70s. Then some catalogs, and I've got a soft spot for catalogs, and these ones had some good age, not the best of condition, but still some good age uh, from the teens. So this one was from the Wartman and Ward Company out of London, Ontario. And had uh, hay trolleys and various other um, farm equipment in it. So it was just neat. Um, like I said, I've got a soft spot for old catalogs. Lots of great stuff in them. And they're great for identifying things as well. But uh, like I said, this one's all hay trolleys, it seems. And the other one, the next one was a Hardware Metal magazine. Um, from 1917 just interesting a lot of interesting ads and such there's one for Dominion cartridges that's uh, a cool one with the with the uh, mount of a moose there and tools and all kinds of stuff so it was just interesting um, then the other two major catalogs this one's from 1901 from Globber Clobber Globber, I guess. Globber brass. So it's all brass fittings and uh, various hardware for um, bath purposes and, uh, like I said, plumbing in general. It was kind of neat. Being a U.S. one, don't know if it'll sell real fast here, but, uh, and isn't in the best of condition, unfortunately. But I think I gave 15 for it. I gave 20 for this one. Um, 1916 from G. Summers Company, St. Paul, Minnesota, and it's full of uh, cool stuff. Linoleum, clothing, there's a page just on umbrellas, suits, all kinds of cool stuff from pretty early, 1916. So really neat, neat catalog. Um, haven't looked them up yet, but uh, like I said, the condition's not the best. But it's still pretty cool. Got a lot of neat, neat stuff in them. Couldn't spend hours going through old catalogs. There's cash registers. That's cool. Michigan cash registers. So that's brand other than uh, national. That's neat. So very cool stuff. But uh, anyway, so that's, that's what I picked up for 65 bucks. Anyway, so on to the next. So I did another auction run, picked up uh, five lots at auction, and then hit a thrift shop, um, a, the value, local value village. Anyway, um, I picked up four area histories. As you can see, 
Wagons to Wings, Minto People of Pride, Northwest Interlake Heritage, and Hardship and Happiness. And the other lot I picked up at auction was this Victorian doorbell, or Edwardian probably, actually. Uh, so about 1900 And yeah, it cost about 20 some dollars. The books cost 15 to 20, 15 to 25, something like that. And then hit the thrift shop, or the Value Village, and got a Staffordshire figure for $10 or $9.99, and a little uh, novelty IBM advertising piece. Um, it was $4.99, a little bit worse for wear, almost didn't buy it, but they're selling for about $45. So that's the same for the Staffordshire figure, actually. They're about 45 in that condition. Um, anyway, so yeah, kind of uh, a juxtaposition of uh, eras here in the same kind of value. <laughs> uh, like I said, about 45 bucks a piece. Um, this little plastic thing and uh, pulls out. So just uh, kind of a desk organizer, I guess, is what it is. But uh, advertising for IBM personal computers back when uh, they were those big floppy disks. And also got a 14 karat gold charm, or not charm, a brooch, uh, for $20. So yeah, there's more gold than 20 bucks worth in there. Um, I think people were passing it up because the marking was on the clasp rather than the rest of the than on the main body of the piece but uh, yeah I probably could scrap it for more than twenty dollars and then for six bucks uh, Hotel Lincoln from St. Catharines Ontario uh, restaurant wear plate and uh, also I missed last time from garage sales I got this Young's improved pure turmeric from uh, Hamilton Ontario Canada uh, it was a dime, I think, at garage sales yesterday. But uh, anyway, that's it. That's all I got. Uh, just, uh, yeah, had to try to make it worthwhile. And like I said, so I hit the thrift. But uh, not a big deal. We had to drive half an hour there and half hour back. So not too big of a deal. I'll make money on all these. Uh, some of these books are anywhere from 65 and up. So I'll do just fine. Um, there might be one or two that's 45, but I'll make money on them all, so I'm doing good. And the doorbell is probably about a $65 item as well. No cleanup or anything to do, so that's great. I can just sell it as it is. Um, yeah, so anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing, picking, thrifting, scrapping, etc. Take care, folks.